Could a young model's beauty hide the heart of a Nazi torturer? In 1946, as trials exposed the horrors of the Stutthof concentration camp, one name stood out, Jenny Barkman, also known as Crazy Jenny. Now let's encounter the enigma of Jenny Barkman's descent into the depths of human cruelty. Let's get into it. In 1946, in Poland, a series of trials took place to prove the guilt of those responsible for running the Stutthof concentration camp. This site had seen terrible crimes and thousands of people had died in horrifying ways. There were even rumors that the bodies of the deceased had been used to make soap. Among those on trial were many Nazis, both men and women, who had worked as prison guards and inflicted immense suffering upon the prisoners. However, among the defendants, there was one individual who stood out from the rest. She was a 24-year-old woman named Jenny Barkman, often referred to as Crazy Jenny by witnesses. Despite her beauty, Jenny had a notorious reputation as an assassin. Strangely, she seemed disinterested in the proceedings and events unfolding around her. As the prosecutors recounted her terrible crimes one by one, Jenny casually fixed her hair and even smiled at the guards who were keeping watch. When the judges finally delivered the sentence, Jenny said a few words that left everyone present stunned. This episode of History by Us will delve into the story of Jenny Barkman, the young woman who transformed from a model to a Nazi torturer. To begin with, Jenny Barkman was born on May 30, 1922 in Hamburg, Germany. Little is known about her early years except that she came from a modest family. Her father worked at the port and her mother was a homemaker. She grew up during the days of the Weimar Republic, a time of political instability as Adolf Hitler's National Socialist Movement gradually gained traction and influence among the population. Jenny seemed to fit the Nazi ideal of a perfect human being. With her blonde hair, blue eyes, and innocent appearance, she epitomized what Hitler and his followers deemed the Aryan race, a group they believed was destined to dominate the world due to their supposedly superior genetics. She could very easily fool anyone with her looks and even took advantage of what she knew was pure and perfect beauty. After finishing her high school education, Jenny pursued a career in modeling and acting. She aimed to use her beauty to achieve fame and glamour, working in renowned studios and designers. Her modeling career took off quickly, and she became known for her natural talent in front of the camera. Her photos graced the pages of fashion magazines and men's publications that leaned toward erotic content. In some of these pictures, she was half naked and you could very easily fall in love with her effortless shot. Jenny's images, often featuring her in a mischievous smile and suggestive gaze, circulated among the soldiers who were far from home fighting on the front lines. These snapshots provided brief moments of distractions from the horrors of war. For the German troops, the sight of women like Jenny reminded them that there was a world beyond the constant violence and death they were surrounded by. These images gave them hope for a future that they could return home, start families, and leave the traumas of war behind. And some of them even fantasized about a life with Jenny. How innocent, right? But things weren't as rosy as they appeared. However, in about 1944, Jenny was only 22 years old when something really surprising occurred and changed her life's direction. Back then, Jenny was having a great time in her life. She was completely dedicated to her passion, working diligently and accomplishing impressive things as a model. She had a chance to become famous worldwide, but unexpectedly, Jenny made a big and puzzling choice to completely switch the path of her life. Instead of continuing her successful career as a model, Jenny took an unusual path. She left behind her glamorous life to work as a guard in a concentration camp. This surprising decision puzzles many as it's quite different from what she was used to. The reasons for her choice are unclear and not well known. People have come up with various ideas to explain why she made such a strange move, but the real motivation remains a mystery even today. Maybe it was the tempting offer of a good salary that drew Jenny toward her choice to become a prison guard. Another possibility is that a strong craving for power motivated her. Some suggested that the tough situation Germany was in during 1944 as it struggled against the strong allied forces might have sparked Jenny's deep sense of loyalty to her country. 
she could have felt the urge to help out during a critical time in her nation's history. Jenny Barkman's story takes us back to a place called the Stutthof camp nestled far away from bustling cities in Poland. It wasn't an ordinary place. The camp was surrounded by fences made of electrified barbed wire, making it nearly impossible for anyone to escape. This place had a dark history. It was set up in 1939 and originally held important Polish people like leaders, thinkers, religious figures and business people. But with time, its purpose changed. It started holding prisoners of war from the Eastern Front and even Jews who were forcefully taken from Germany. Now imagine the conditions in this camp. They were beyond terrible. The people kept there, known as inmates, were forced into hard labor making things for the Nazi Germany. They would come back, they would come back to their living quarters tired, hungry, and often sick because of all the diseases spreading in the camp. Sadly, many who survived these diseases were eventually killed in the gas chambers. Among the guards out of the camp, there was someone named Jenny Barkman, but she wasn't like the other guards. She was known for being exceptionally cruel. It's like she enjoyed hurting the inmates. She came up with all sorts of painful ways to make their lives even worse. Her favorite way was to use a whip made of leather. She would whip the prisoners so harshly that their bodies would be covered in deep, deadly wounds. Sometimes, she would hurt them just enough to keep them alive, targeting their feet so they couldn't walk properly anymore. There are stories from people who saw it happen. They tell of how she set dogs on the prisoners when they were already starving and how she separated mothers from their children, finding joy in the mothers' pain as they watched their kids being taken to the gas chambers. We're not exactly sure how many people suffered because of Jenny, but it's believed to be hundreds. Because of all the terrible things that she did, she got really frightening nicknames, especially Crazy Jenny and Beautiful Spectre. As time moved on, in 1945, it became clear that the Third Reich was falling apart and the Soviet Red Army was getting closer. Jenny must have known that her days of causing terror were ending soon. Scared of the punishment she might face from the advancing communist forces, she ran away from the Stutthof camp. She became one of those people that authorities were desperately trying to find for the crimes she committed during the war. She managed to hide in Poland for a while, but her desperations, but her descriptions and pictures were spread all over Europe. Her attempts to stay hidden didn't work for long. She was recognized at a train station in Poland and caught by military officers in 1946. The people in charge of dealing with those responsible for the awful things that happened at the Stutthof camp put her on trial. Surprisingly, she didn't seem to care much about the trial. She was more interested in how she looked and even flirted with the guards. The judges in the trial decided that she should be put to death. Jenny had a strange response. She said, life is a pleasure and like all pleasure, it doesn't last long. She seemed strangely okay with what was happening, not showing any regret, tears, or asking for mercy. In July 4, 1946, Jenny Barkman, along with 10 other war criminals, was executed on a hill in Gdansk, Poland. There were about 200 people watching this happen, almost like they were watching a show. Instead of the usual hanging platform, they used a rope tied to a post and connected it to a truck. As the truck moved, Jenny was lifted up by the rope. She struggled for a few minutes, her face turning purple and her feet twinching until she finally stopped moving. This was the end of Jenny Barkman's dark journey, a journey that took her from being a young model to becoming one of the cruelest people involved in the Nazi torture. Her story is a chilling reminder of how even seemingly normal individuals can be dragged into the darkest and most awful parts of human cruelty. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let us know what you thought about Jenny in the comments down below and we'll get back to you in another one. Until then, take care and bye for now.